Hello, y'all. My name is Delisa, and this 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting, I want to talk to you about praying for breakthrough. In Luke 11, Jesus is teaching on prayer, and so I want to read a few verses to you. Then he said to them, suppose one of you has a friend and goes to him at midnight and says to him, friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine has come to me from a journey, and I have nothing set before him. And from inside, he answers, do not bother me. The door has already been shut and my children and I are in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he is a friend, yet because his persistence, he will get up and give him as much as needed. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened. For everyone who asks receives and who he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Now suppose one of you fathers is asked by his son for a fish. Will he give to him a snake instead of a fish? Or if he asks for an egg, he will not give him a scorpion, will he? If then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask of him? So I wanna encourage you with these three things. I wanna encourage you that while waiting on the breakthrough, while waiting on a miracle, while waiting on whatever you're believing God for, get in God's presence through worship. This causes us to keep a heart of gratitude and to keep our eyes focused on God. When our eyes are focused on God, God is bigger than our situation, bigger than anything that we're going through. And number two, seek the word of God for his promises. In his word, you will find promises on healing, on finances, on different things. And then I want you to write it down. This ensures our desires align with God's and arms us with the tools to ignite our faith and fight against doubt. And three, be persistent. Don't stop asking, don't stop trusting, don't stop praying, don't stop seeking, don't stop knocking. Allow the weight to stretch our faith and grow your character. God's timing is always better than ours. Let's pray. God, we just honor you and we praise you and we thank you that you are a good, good father. You desire to give good things to us. Father, you've already gifted us with your Holy Spirit that gives us peace in the midst of the storm, that gives us wisdom and guidance, Lord God, to walk, Lord God, out the plans and the purposes that you have for our lives. As we are in the waiting, Father, let us hunger and thirst for more of you hunger and thirst for your presence and for your word so that our faith can be stretched and our character can grow and that we can continue trusting you. Let us not waver in our faith, but stand on your word and stand on your promises, knowing that you are good, knowing that you are faithful, knowing that your word will not return into you void. Everything that you set out to do, it will accomplish. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you that you are provider, healer, comforter, way maker. You are everything, God. So we trust you and we put it in your hands. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.